hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys we are going to troubleshoot this issue your pc ran into problems and needs to restart the error code is critical process died on windows 10 and 11 pc so you can follow the methods so i'm going to show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so first of all i should tell you why you are facing this issue so there could be many reasons guys first one can be the windows corruption file the second one is the pet sector inside your hard drive or the any error damage on your hard drives the third one could be the hardware issues is if you have the ram faulty ram or if you have the faulty motherboard so you might get this issue frequently the fourth one can be the software update or the windows update you have recently installed on your windows so if you are not able to boot your system i will categorize this video into two parts first one is for those who are able to access their pc so they can just hold the shift key button and then click on restart option and you will be able to access your automatic repair screen but for those who are not able to access their pc and issue is continuously coming up blue screen so they need to shut down your system two to three times forcefully as soon as the window loads as you can see now you can see automatic preparing automatic repair so hold now so this is the screen which we wanted now whatever option you are getting your PC did not start correctly automatic repair could not repair your PC okay you need to click on advanced options so once you click on the advanced options guys you need to click on this option troubleshoot then you need to click on advanced options then you need to click on this option which says startup setting we are going into the safe mode to perform some steps from there so click on startup settings and simply restart your system into the safe mode okay now you need to press f4 or 4 on your keyboard if you are not able to access your pc into the safe mode i have the fix for you also but if you are able to access your pc into the safe mode and uh, that is good sign for you guys we can repair the windows so i will show you all the possibilities and all the solutions so that you can recover your pc step by step starting from basic to advanced okay so this is the safe screen guys we need to open the command prompt here run as admin with the right click now we need to type the command sfc space slash scan now so this is the command to repair the windows corruptions and side by side it is running we can perform some steps here guys so we can right click there and click on run and simply type a temp and control a with the select all and shift plus delete to permanently delete it hit yes again press windows plus r type that percentage temp these are the junk files and catch can cause many issues so it's better to remove them shift delete windows plus r again type here prefetch okay give the permission if it is asking shift and delete now next command clean mgr okay tick all the boxes from here and if you are able to see the system file just click on that then again select the same drive and then delete all the clean mgr file these are the temporary files made by system not by you so don't worry you can delete all of them now if you have recently installed any software and after that you are facing the issue so we have the easy fix for you you need to open the control panel so this is the step number two simply open the control panel from here
and we need to click on this option programs and feature select here the category wise then select the programs and features now select the program which you have recently installed on your system and simply hit uninstall button ok once you have uninstalled that just close this out from here and simply restart your system once this command is executed so once this command is 100% you need to close this out and simply restart your system in a normal mode from here and simply you should able to boot your system into the normal mode if you don't able to fix your issue guys in here so we have the third fix for you so again access the same screen hold the shift key click on restart option and you will see please wait option and again if you are not able to access your screen so again repeat the process two to three times shut down forcefully now click on troubleshoot click on advanced options now open you can open the command prompt here as well so open the command prompt now step number three is we are going to repair the bed sector inside our hard drive choose your admin user here put the password if password is showing wrong here so click on change keyboard and select us then hit ok now in here guys we need to type this command chkdsk space slash f space slash r and then space the drive letter where the window has been installed most of the system that is stored in the c drive so c colon and hit enter so once you hit enter guys this will take some time so you need to have patience here just wait for the process it will go to the five stages and will repair all the corruption inside your hard drive ok now we can move on to the fourth step guys now in the fourth step we will repair the boot sector commands so once you have click on this option continue with again go to the fourth step so we are going to repair our boot booting files so we need to type the command boot rec space slash fix mbr boot track space slash fix mbr once this command is executed you need to type her boot track space forward slash fix boot if you see this message access is denied you need to type the command guys just boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys okay and again type that command that is now you should see operation completed successfully now we need to type the command rebuilt boot rack space forward slash rebuilt bcd and hit enter ok and you can also hit these commands which I have shown you in the safe mode so we need to type for exit now and click on continue with windows 10 and 11 if you have still issue guys so we have the fix for you also the step number fifth click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and click on system restore so this is the fifth number step to restore your system in a working stage if you have made the system restored just click on next option select the latest date from here when system was working fine all the data software will be remain safe so it might take 20 to 30 minutes guys so just wait here ok once it is executed just cross this out and restart your system in a normal mode but what if you have the still issue guys so we have the fix for you also move on to the sixth method guys so sixth method we need to click on this option uninstall update if you have recently updated your system and that 
Windows update has gone wrong so we can simply uninstall the quality update from here and then you can uninstall the latest feature update from here let me show you how to choose that uninstall latest feature update and click on uninstall update now if this option is not working guys and you are not able to boot your system so we have the seventh solution for you so click on troubleshoot here and click on advanced options and once you click on advanced options you can perform this step startup repair but this might not fix your error guys since that is not powerful to fix the issue but that is the seventh method you can try this out normal issues is it can fix but if this option these are the six to seven options are not working on your windows so we have to move on to the eighth step eighth step guys we need to reset our system so click on back then click on reset this pc now in here we need to choose the keep my files options here so this will delete all the manually installed software but will not remove your personal data like images videos and, and only c drive is going to format from here so you if you have the internet connection that will take almost 4 gb of data but if you don't have the local re, uh, local but if you don't have the internet enough so choose local reinstall but i have seen that local reinstall through the error unable to reset the pc so that time you have to choose the cloud cloud download option as you can see here the message change setting back to their original defaults keep personal files reinstall windows from this device remove all the apps and program that didn't come with this pc just hit the next option here plug in the charger and your system is going to reset okay but if you are unable to reset your pc guys so i have the fix for you also you have to make the bootable pen drive on your system i will link a video how to make a bootable pen drive and then you need to boot from your pen drive so you need to select any key here once you have booted from your pen drive press any key while it is on the boot and just wait here we need to make sure that you have to boot from your usb okay boot from your usb and then i will show you so this option you need to click on next here once you have booted from your pen drive and click on install now and guys if you are not able to even access your screen with the automatic repair options so you can select that option and just recent go back repair your pc options with the bootable pen drive now select here whatever you want i don't have right now so we can put it back now you need to choose same operating system which you are currently running on your system so i'm running here the pro i have to select next accept terms and condition here select next choose this option now here is the most important step guys here you need to choose the drive where the window has been already installed okay so you can choose its existing drive with the gb so in my case this is 32 gb and that is c drive in my system so i have to choose that option do not format or delete any drive from here just we need to overwritten the files and folders all the data will be moved to windows dot old file that is stored in the c drive hit next here and this will also show you if the partition you have chosen contain the files of previous windows installation these files and folder will be moved from the name windows dot old so that is the windows dot old will be stored in the c drive so you can recover your data from there and you will able to access your windows dot old but you wouldn't be able to use your previous version of windows so this this step will reinstall the new windows but still you can use your you can access your old files with the windows dot old 
so select here the ok option here once we have selected the ok options here guys like this the new window is going to install on your system and that is going to fix your issue for sure still if you are not able to do this step guys you have to format your system clean format your system and then you should able to fix the issue I was talking about this repair your computer you can also boot from here with these kind of steps ok so I hope guys after applying these 9 to 10th methods your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching